Hi guys, <clears throat> in this video I'm going to be talking about an important concept in uh, Access which is basically relationships and we're going to build our first relationship in this video and in, in, the, in the next video I'm going to explain more the theory and the background of relationships. So let's start with a simple example. I've got here a Formula One table uh, with the Formula One teams, their country, the drivers that drove for that respective team and the championships uh, each driver got for that team. Now, this is an Excel, no problem. I just put it in, bang, there it is. Now, doing something like that in Access would be a big problem. I could obviously create a new table in Access and input that data, no big deal. However, it's not very efficient. Why? Because I'm repeating each team several times. I'm repeating the country of each team several times. And should I have now more information to each team, let's say like address, mail address, uh, website, etc., I would I would have to repeat each of that data for each team multiple times. And that is not good database practice. Good database practice is inputting each piece of information only once. And the thing is now, how could I do that in Access? Well, first of all, the first step is to see where are the repetitions. Well, the repetitions are here in team and in country. After that, I have no more repetitions. So basically, what I just mentally, I just draw a line between the fields that have those repetitions and the fields that don't. And everything left of that line goes in a separate table called teams. And everything to the right of that line goes in a second or separate table called drivers. And that's what we're now going to do in Access. And then we're going to um, connect these two separate tables so that we can reproduce this result in Access without having to input each team and its information multiple times. That is sort of the purpose of the whole exercise. Now let's switch over to Access. Here's Access and I have like, let's, let's start with the teams table. I have here my teams. You see now here, I input each team only once. And it's country, obviously. And let's go back to the design view. I have here team name, which is simple text field, and team country, which is also text field, size two. And here I have a field called team number, which is an order number. And this field guarantees me that, or has the only unique uh, the only guaranteed unique content for each team because I cannot guarantee you that no two teams have the same name. It could be that a team in the 50s has the same name as a team in the, in, in, in the 90s. Okay, and obviously a lot of teams come from the same country. So I need something unique to each team. So I created team number, which is an older number, basically which means that every time I add a new team to this table, this team gets a unique number. And this field is, has a primary key. And this is what I advised in the previous video. I advised every time you create a table in Access or in any database, have as a first field, a field where, which has unique content to each row and have that field or add to that field a primary key. For instance, if you have articles, obviously the article number is that unique content. If you have uh, personnel in a company, obviously the personnel number or ID or social security number is that unique content. Okay, now, I don't have something in here in the Formula One which makes this team unique, so I just created my own team number. Okay, right. Uh, going into the drivers table is similarly built. Here are the drivers, and if I go to design view, I see I have in this case a driver number again, older number with primary key, then. The driver name, which is simple text, and their championships, which is number, and it is a, 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 a field size byte because byte, remember, byte is um, integers, and they go from zero to, to 255. And I cannot imagine a driver gaining more than 255 world championships in his lifetime. So byte is here more than sufficient. Right. Now we got our two tables. Now the thing is, how do I connect these two tables? Well. You go to database tools and you have something called the relationships. Now, 
before going into relationships, I have to somehow allocate each driver to the team in question. Because right now, how does Access know which driver, let me just go back to home. How does Access know which driver belongs to which team? So what I need in this table drivers, I need a, a new field which allocates each driver to his respective team. And the way it goes is like this. I go into view, add, let's say, driver team. Now, what type is it? Well, that's very important because this field, a driver team, will connect to this field team number because I'm allocating each driver to some, to, some, to some unique aspect of each team. And that unique aspect is the team number. And the team number is an order number of field size long integer. Now remember, order numbers are just numbers, which the only thing difference between order number and number is that order number increases by one every time you, either, you add a new record, whereas a number doesn't, okay? So basically, if I wanna connect these two fields, team number, and driver team, both have to have the same content, both have to have the same field type, and both have to have the same field size. So basically, this should be a number. It cannot be an older number, I'll, you'll see, uh, um, I'll, sh I'll show you in a minute. And it has to be because looking at teams, team number is older number, long integer. Here it is a number, long integer. So they're basically identical. And all I have to do now is basically input that content. So just let me save it, go to view, and here we go. The first uh, three drivers belong to Brabham. So basically, uh, let me go into view here. Basically, Brabham is team one. So I just input one, one, and one. The next guys, the next three guys belong to the second team, McLaren, which is basically, if you look at it, number two. So I just input two, two, two. The next four guys belong to Lotus and Lotus has team number three. So I input three, three. Now you see here, because I'm repeating each team number multiple times, I cannot have here auto number because auto number would mean that each uh, guy would get a different number, which is which basically defeats the whole purpose. I want to have, I want to allocate multiple drivers to one team. So it ha this that's why that field cannot be order number. It is number, but basically the difference between number and order number is 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 basically the, only that order numbers uh, um, uh, increment every time you add a new record. Okay, so let's let me finish that here. Three. Okay, just let me put here three, and then here three. The next guys belong to team four, which is Ferrari. And the last three belong to team five, which is Williams. Right, now I've done my job. I have allocated each driver to their respective teams and the allocation has taken place here in this field driver team. And the content is exactly the same as this content here. You see, one, two, three, four, five. And here, one, two, three, four, five, that is identical. and. They're both of the same type. This is type, look at the design. This is type number, long integer. And here, the type here, it's order number. Like I said, it's identical to numbers and it's also long integer. So basically now I can connect these two tables via these two fields, team number here and driver team here. Okay, so, and the tool for that is here, relationships. But before you build relationships, uh, access it needs you to close your tables. So basically, I'm going to close the first table, close, and I'm going to close this table as well. So I've got closed my tables. Now I can go into relationships. And here I got relationships. It's all empty. I need to include my two tables. So I just go to show table. I include teams. I can double click it or I can just click it and say add. And I've got my two tables. I don't need any more. Close. So, and now, we build the relationship this way. We said the relationship is gonna go from team number to driver team. So I just drag team number to driver team. 
and now I click these three boxes. Now, I will explain what that means in the next video or videos, but just click them now and then say create. And now you see these two tables are connected via team number in teams and driver team in drivers. So these two tables are now basically like one big composite table. And to test if everything is working all right, let's create a new query, query design. I include both my, of my tables. And you see the relationship is there. And now I just include the same fields I have in my Excel uh, uh, file. And that's basically here. I've got like the team, the country, driver name, and championships. And let's go back into here. So I have like basically team name, team country, driver name, and driver championships. And if you look at it, you go into view, you see I have exactly the same data as in my Excel, but now the only difference is that we know that we are input each team only once. What, I, what Access does, it repeats the content of each team as often as you have drivers. But we do not or did not input each team multiple times. We input each team only once, but the, this relationship took care of that repetition. And this is how you work in Access. You input each piece of data only once and then have Access, in this case with relationships, do the, 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 that menial work of repeating each of that each of these data uh, as often as you have drivers in this case okay so this is now the first example of a relationship in the next video I'm gonna show you or I explain to you the different types of relationships and some more background to relationships